Who's here? <laughs> hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Metnoia. This is Mona Lisa. For today's video, we are going to discuss my stay at Stanza Living Winnipeg House, which is located in Madhapur, Hyderabad. And I'm going to walk you through everything I experienced over there and uh, just an overall review of how I felt there, what the costs were, and everything in between. So stay tuned till the end. Before we dive right into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and expect some awesome coming your way. If you are interested in fashion videos, be sure to check out my Instagram. I have a lot of fashion stuff there. And on that note, let's begin. So let's begin with a little bit of backstory that I have on living here. So me and my best friend decided that we want to live in another state and just live together and have fun together and enjoy our lives. So we decided that since she's moving to Hyderabad, I'll come there and then we can stay together. Next step was how could we stay together? I mean, if you're selecting a PG, then um, definitely she would have a roommate and the chances of staying together would have been difficult. But uh, when we spoke to Stanza Living, they said that uh, they would give us a separate room like both of us. We took a two sharing room and um, Although we had to go through a lot of trouble to get one room together but in the end we did get it and uh, we stayed throughout the three months over there in that same room. We didn't have to change or do anything so that was good. So these are the last few days in Stanza and I'm going to share my experience. Yeah, I'm going to show you around first. So let's go. As you can see, coming in from the door, this is how we set it up. And we I placed my YouTube stuff and Instagram stuff here. And we did the tables together. We put shoes under there. That's our bed. It's a little bit messy, but oh well. Yeah, it is a little bit messy, as you can see. I remember when I was at the airport, I was thinking of moving to this whole different city. I was thinking about the kind of experiences it will bring me and I remember discussing it with my best friend like how we will do this, how we will do that and how we will learn each other in this experience because my best friend and I we've never lived together although we've stayed in each other's places but we've never lived together. So that was a good exposure and also I wanted to learn how to live on my own how to do stuff on my own because so far that I've traveled I've always lived with family so that's why I wanted to have this experience of living alone and doing it on my own and um, we chose Stanza Living to do that now moving on to our living situation in Stanza Living what I felt while living with her was that the beds were not enough for one person but if you join the beds, which we did, then it would have been ample space for two people. So we did that. We actually had three beds and three cupboards in our room. And uh, we did well in that. I mean, we shared everything. And since we knew each other from the beginning, it wasn't that hard to be roommates because we could share our stuff and that was easier for us. Despite it being a co-living space, I never felt uncomfortable, I never felt insecure and that is something that is required when you are moving to a new city and you want, you know, some sort of security because you've left your safe home and a secure place you can just rest assured that it will always be that way. But when I stayed there, I never felt unsafe. So that was one of the things I really appreciated. They had guards at all times, even during the night. 
uh, you can step out and come back anytime you want no questions asked you can order food and get it delivered in the middle of the night which we have done several times like one day we ordered food at 4 a.m. Coming to the cleaning arrangement. So on the website it is promised that you would receive daily housekeeping but as long as we stayed there we did not receive it every day but every alternate day they used to come and clean it and um, they would clean it quite well I had no complaints although sometimes you do have complaints because you cannot control people right so so in that case we used to raise tickets which you can do from the stamp app and they would go ahead and resolve it for you if you are seeing that your room is not as clean as it should be go ahead and raise tickets on Sunday living and they will get it done I mean that's how we used to do it if if you don't want to raise tickets and go to that hassle you can also speak to your resident captain and they will get it done for you Moving on to the cost, I have discussed the costs and details in my previous video of moving in with my bestie in Hyderabad. So if you want to, to check out details, you can check out that. I'm going to tell you what exactly I paid during my three months stay. So when you are checking into standard living, they will give you some kind of discount for the first three months. So my actual rate was 13,500 which included um, breakfast and dinner and on weekends it would be three meals uh, so that was 13,500 but I uh, I think in the first month I actually paid 22,000 something and in the next month I paid 8,000 something and in the third month I paid 12,000 something so I got a lot of discount in the first three months and then once you settle in in the three months you would have to pay the actual rent in that way i thought it was very convenient the cost of the first three months when you're moving to a new city i mean there are a lot of things that you have to consider while moving so i think that really helped with the cost i mean dialing it down but another thing was the ac the ac had to be paid separately like you have have to recharge it like a cell phone recharge and that was quite expensive according to me because we were spending 2000 a month just for AC and then on top of that the rent was there so that felt a little pricey for us so yeah that's something to consider if you want to move in to stand for living area where you could just you know relax with your friends and eat because what I've seen in other PGs is that they have their food in some kind of garage or something and that's like not a hygienic place to eat right so one of the things that I loved about standard living was this that thank god they actually paid heed to the hygiene situation uh, the food menu uh, you can choose from the app that they have I'll show it here uh, you can choose your food preferences whatever you want to have if you want some kind of preference in your food you would have to actually 
select it on your app so that you can receive that food so be sure to do that if you are living in stands living moving on to the menu options now what i found in the menu options honestly speaking were uh most days i didn't like the menu because i'm from north india and we have a different taste of food and you know the south indian food is a bit different from north indian food so that was one of the troubles that i was having with the food but some of the things that i liked in their food menu was one day they did a uh, soya bean which was which was really tasty i really liked it they have this hyderabadi biryani which was tasty like it's not spicy i also attended the stanza living dj night party that happened in hyderabad and uh, a lot of uh, people from different stanza living came there and there was a function and there were there was someone singing there was someone dancing and then there was in the end the dj party and after that we had our dinner and uh, the menu options were great i liked the food it was uh, i think chicken and then um, a fried rice and uh, paneer was there and uh, some kind of sweets so it was nice overall uh, we could enjoy with friends and we danced and we had a lot of fun overall i would say my stay was great for 3 months um it was becoming a little bit expensive when um, i had to eat from outside when i didn't like the food that they were serving but overall i would say the memories that i had with my friends uh the friends that i made over there and the moments that we had and you know the movie nights and the uh fun dance sessions i would cherish it forever because that is the kind of thing that i wanted while moving into a new city and i think that without stanley living it wouldn't have been possible to meet people and make new friends so yeah like if you are someone who can go ahead and talk to people it's a great place to make friends and yeah that's about it i hope you got the details that you were looking for and i hope that it will help you make the decision of whether or not you would like to stay here thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you next time